to touch base with them again as soon as possible. And of course, if you need to, you can download our app on your iPhone. And you can do that by going to uh, your iTunes store and simply search for KZRG and you will find us there. And we of course encourage, as we said before, if you are, if you work for fire department, if you work for police department, if you are emergency what you're facing, what you're looking at, you can call us, 782-1310. That's 782-1310. KZRG. Hi, uh, yeah, I was calling um, just to let the parents of the, um, the people that were at Stanglass Theater, um, we actually carried some of them to 7th Street um, Walmart, so that's where they are at, just to let the parents know of the kids. They're here, and they are all alive. Okay, repeat that once again. You, the children are alive. You're saying that they're, they're safe and that where are they now? Left the range line, 20th. Academy behind it, Home Depot. Living oil station. CC's, Radio Shack, Joann's. Goodwill, Jim Bob's, Wendy's, Singular Store. out there except what I got personally from our friend. Yeah, I know Mendel, uh, Memorial Middle School set something up and they have a center there and I know that uh, South Junior High is going on but I have not heard a thing about it. Well, I'm just wondering if there's any other damage out in that area was my question. Yeah, I, you know what? We're not sure but, that, but there's people standing in that spot right now listening that know that answer. Uh, so if they give us a call at Pass that Long 782-1310. Okay. So as soon as we hear from them, you'll, you'll, you'll get them. You'll okay, we're listening. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear. All right, what you got there, Krause? Thank you. 
uh, this is for, uh, they're looking for Hannah Hull, H-U-L-L, -L, Hannah Hull, 14 years old. Her brother Robert is looking for her. So call Sandy, 850-969-5500. She'll get a hold of her brother. Her mom was found around 20th by Dylan's around their car. So Hannah Hull, you if one. you happen to know where Hannah Hull is. Yeah, your family's looking for you. Uh, yeah, 850 960 Wow, get those things. Your brother's looking for you, and her, her mother died in the tornado in the car. Is that what that is? Yeah, yeah. 782. 13. KZRG, hello. Hey, how are you? This is Greg. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm uh, I was I'm from Dallas. I was visiting folks in, in Kansas City. I was going to come down to the job. I'm getting mixed, mixed messages from your radio deal about coming to help or a good thing or a bad thing. Getting volunteers. Oh what God. we're doing now is they're kind of setting back. You know, a lot of people want to volunteer to do this. And the main thing what we're talking about is people who are just riding around taking pictures and rubbernecking. Now, yeah, they, they are looking for, yes, for volunteers. Like they said, sometimes you've got to set back and wait before they can send everybody out. But we do have, I think we have a number here for some volunteers, don't we, uh, Crown? Here. We know uh, we're at the Red Cross. Oh yeah, God. yeah, we know, uh, On Main Street, J-Town. Yeah, they're coordinating some stuff there, too. Uh, Cunningham Park, old historical house. It was a two story with the basement up on the foundation. Love the job in high school. Franklin Tech Community Center.
UFC fights at Sportsman Saturday the 28th. Don't miss their lunch specials. Stop by today at Sportsman's Park, 7th and St. Louis Joplin. It's currently 60 at News Talk KCRG. This is a breaking weather update from the KCRG 24-hour storm center. This is FM 102.9 AM 1310 News Talk KCRG. Our coverage continues wall to wall. On this deadly storm that has left cell towers damaged, communications are down, 116 dead, and we've seen several hundred are injured. The latest details we're facing right at the moment. Uh, interesting conversation that happened earlier. Apparently, some of our local callers here in Joplin on the Glenn Beck program. We do have the audio in here now. We'll be happy to share that with you. Uh, here it is at the moment. You're listening to FM 102.9 AM 1310 News Talk. I'm here. How are you, Glenn? Very good. How much of your town is left? I'm here. How are you, Glenn? Very good. How much of your town is left? I don't really know. I know that it's pretty bad. Where are Where are you? I'm actually in the first neighborhood that was hit by the tornado. I have to tell you, I, I grew up in the Pacific Northwest where, you know, once in a while we'll have a hard rainstorm. Um, and so I've never grew up around extreme weather. When I was in, uh, where was it? Uh, I may have been Missouri, I can't remember where it was. And, I, and, a, tor and a tornado had just ripped through a uh, neighborhood.
shopping center for the house. So there's lamps, there's pillows, there's couches, tables, IKEA furniture, like all different kinds of things. And it comes in the house, um, goes yeah, out of the house. It's in the house, goes out of the house. So um is all that stuff donated? Yeah. 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 There was a cute little teen couch yesterday they kept carrying all around. <laughs> <laughs> So she is ready. She has her plan. <laughs> oh, and the cool part the cool part about this project actually, we're donating all of the architectural plans to the city for free. So anybody who wants to come and get them from the city, they are free. So it's kind of like if you like one of the houses and you wanted to do something, you could come and get the plans and start your own project and add on or do whatever. Sorry. <laughs>
travel. You could join us and say, let's build this school. One, two, three.